This episode of MMA Nuts is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Use code 295NUT for a 295.com or transfer. Defense Soap. Use code MMA Nuts for 15% off your entire order. Hey fans, this is MMA Nuts, episode 186. 186. Sign language, motherfucker. My name is Ingo Weigel. I'm Matt Grew. This is MMA Show. My MMA fans, for my fans, we're walking the line between serious and ridiculous. Double tap, Ingo. And coffee. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Speaking of ridiculous. What? Uh, the Super Bowl this year, slightly ridiculous. What? There's a game partaking? There's a blowout happening, or just finished happening. Blow hole. Unless, I Blow left in the bro. third quarter, unless, like, the Broncos completed the greatest comeback in any sports history Wouldn't ever. That'd be the shit. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> like, like, holy shit, Peyton Manning just threw for eight touchdowns <laughs> in the fourth quarter. <laughs> that would be crazy. I don't think that happened. I heard something about a backup QB, and I don't know if they're talking about Seattle putting backup in, or the this Broncos. This is such a route. Like, like, fuck it, put the punter in. in. Let Pull him fucking QB for a little bit. It was brutal. Brutal, brutal. That's tough. Um, but as I was telling you, the one thing I really enjoyed this year was the halftime show. Oh, I thought you were going to say the drive over because there was no traffic. That too. <laughs> There's nobody scary. on the road. It's really kind of creepy. But uh, yeah, Bruno Mars, uh-huh. excellent. I suggest you check him out. He's, he's got, uh, I don't know, somebody turned me on to him a couple months ago, and I'm, I'm digging it. It's good workout music too. It gets you kind of like upbeat. It's got a little Michael Jackson flavor mixed in with like some current like rock slash mm-hmm. hip hop dance kind of, I don't even know what you call it, but. It's kind of sad when I think about it, because when I was younger, the Super Bowl was like something I really look forward to, and now I just don't care. It's it doesn't make sense. I I really, literally, could care less. If you know, I only watched it just because it was on, and you know, I don't know. Fucking commercials. I mean, didn't see any good ones. I don't know. I'm sure the internet. You say they're pretty expensive. How much was it? One hundred and fifty thousand dollars a second. (laughs) I'm saying it's probably like if you're gonna advertise, it's probably the best way to spend your money if you're gonna spend on a commercial because who the fuck watches commercials anymore i think that's the I only know. time people watch a commercial no i i deviate tv out everything right whatever i might see a commercial but in general no i mean i think if you were going to sponsor somebody you you might want to do it through a podcast and maybe through select product placement i'm just saying ingo i'm just saying oh you mean like defense soap yeah i mean it could just be like a product placement or GoDaddy kind of type thing or stamps.com or craft beer club. Yeah, you know. Dot com. I think that's more effective. It is. I could be wrong. Are you saying we're selling ourselves out? <laughs> no, that's totally not a Wayne's World. This whole thing is at fucking Wayne's World. Craftbeerclub.com. <laughs> beer. <laughs> yeah, how are your delicious beers? <sighs> the first one was um, decent. This one has a little more balls to it. It's a winter lager. Uh huh. From Mustang Brewing. Never heard of this brand before, but not bad. These are a little light on the alcohol content for my taste. Yeah. This guy likes about 72% alcohol. <laughs> These are like five percenters. So he drinks like 17 like ounces. Water. <laughs> yeah. He goes one extra because he's fucked up. But not Crazy. Bad. I'll probably drink all four of these beers, and I'm going to be left buzzing with my probably. big ones I bring <laughs> over all the time. So, so but tasty nonetheless. So any news for us? Yeah. News is being brought to you by fucking GoDaddy. Ooh. GoDaddy.kids.com. You get a 295.com or transfer with code 295NUT. You can get 32% off new code. All of your orders and stuff. That shit works too. We just used it. Go 32 <laughs> off it six. Works. And you can get 50% off of hosting with 50 hosts too. Yeah. All right. Right into the news. The news. So the uh, the Bigfoot is lactating. <laughs> The Bigfoot is lactating. They found Bigfoot and he's lactating. Yeah. Is he breastfeeding? I don't know. They say the rumor is that his testosterone level was so low pre TRT that he was lactating. I don't believe it. So, Craig Perlman, if you're watching, post on this show and tell us if that's even fucking possible. How is that even true? And if you're a man, like, how would you even discover that you're lactating? Would you be like, Massaging your nipples. Maybe they just leak. I don't know. How does that happen? Does he hear a bunch of screaming babies and they just <laughs> fucking explode? I'm not like sure. a like a He probably cries lady. a lot, eats eats a lot of chocolate and uh, starts lactating. That know. seems crazy. I don't believe it. No, no, because you know what? If what do you mean it's so low? Because women have testosterone in their system too. Right. How does that make any sense? You, there, you need a thing called a mammary gland to lactate. Can men lactate? 
No, I'm not buying it. I think it's bullshit. You, even if he had a very high level of estrogen, then he would have boobs, wouldn't he, at that point? Yeah, he'd not, have he boobies. Looks, he doesn't look like he's ever had boobs. No. So, very weird. I don't know. we got to talk to Craig about this. Craig, if you're watching, let us know or something. I don't know. Fire! Bad! Yeah. Milk! Good! <laughs> So, Fuck whatever. That's a headline right there is what that is. Someone's Fuck like, yeah. Let's tell people he was lactating. Yeah. Well, you know, a headline. I got to fucking bring this up. Okay. Fucking a Bloody Elbow runs a story criticizing Joe Rogan for saying, man, I forgot what he was talking about, but he was saying <coughs> how he was talking to Ryan Faber and he fucked up a weight class on one of the guys in his camp. And he was he, asking he weird questions <laughs> post fight yeah, on he that. Been high. He said something like, never mind me, I'm retarded. And then they, the, the bloody elbow had a shit fit about him using the word he said retarded. retarded. Yeah, I, he's use it. Fucking, goddamn again. Fucking let it go. In the context, yeah. he's, to me, retarded means stupid. Not it's not a description of a fucking uh, mentally challenged person. No, and it, I don't think it's a derogatory term, because you can be like, you know, I don't know. The retarded could be used in many ways. Yeah. Can't think of any it's other fuck, ones. But to me, <laughs> I use it as stupid. It, you know, it's fucking retarded. No, no, to me, it's, it's, it's it means stupid, but it's also you. You can have like that process is retarded. Like somehow, like you know, doing something has been like lessened by. You can use it in that sense. I believe. I don't know. Or is that like it? it could be fucking awesome. It's retarded. It's off the hook. It's retarded. <laughs> it's so retarded, I dude. I don't know. About I'm that. just saying, but that, it's that's that's one of those words. That story's fucking it's a buzzword. Blasphemous, so. Bro. Listen, this Joe Rogan has like 400 episodes of like three hours each, so he's got like 1,500 hours plus of him talking on the internet. Listen to some of his podcasts, and you tell me if he's racist, if he's sexist, if he's fucking like again. If, if he that man, I don't believe has a mean bone in his body. He's just except his cock. <laughs> well, maybe that it's very mean, angry it's cock, devastating. Yeah. One would say powerful, probably. Um, he's a nice guy, man. He seems like he's pretty accepting of everything. So, and mm -hmm. you know, as as long as you're happy, he's happy. That kind of seems like his motto. So, I don't think he meant it that way. Not at all. It, I think someone's stretching for a story. Why would they do that? Huh? Why would they write that just to try to grab some viewers? Looks like it. It had a shit ton of comments. Probably their most common story. But. Oh. Don't agree with it. Me neither. Moving right along. Pat Barry, sick of the MMA, Ingo. Doesn't like the wrestling. Good for him. Asked out of his UFC contract. They granted him out, and now he wants to go kickbox. Uh, yeah. Uh, smells like glory to me. Not the shit your pants and walk by you on press row kind of glory <laughs> action. That up. Um, <laughs> but uh, what do you think of that? Like, I like it. I'm going to Bigger gloves. Me. It's more of what he knows. He's never been great at the, at the, at the wrestling, at the ground game. I mean, sure, sure he's improved, but... I feel like that hurts him because he has to think about the things he's not good at. Whereas if he can just focus on the striking, yes, he has a good. There's a lot of good potential matchups for him, especially in glory. Yeah, it depends where does he want to fight too. Because heavyweight, god damn, those guys are beasts. Yeah, you know they're pretty big. So maybe he could drop to 205. I don't know. Ouch. I don't know. He's a big dude. I, but you know what? I I still like the David versus Goliath, and I think in the standpoint of if he's not going to have to grapple, I think he'll do okay. He should. Leg kicks. Remember? Pat Perry leg yeah. kicks. Where did those go? Those used to be know. devastating. It's weird. Moving right along. Did you see the promo for UFC 169? I did. Ariane <laughs> and Brittany Palmer. Pushing Basically the naked. envelope. You go. One could say. What? I don't know. Pushing the envelope. Pushing. <laughs> I don't know how they passed this. Like, this was on TV. Like, yeah, I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand. The you know, how, how is it that. That's that's okay for them. I, I don't know. Maybe because it's cable. So you could show boobies as long as there's like paint over them. Apparently. And you could see nipple. I saw nipples. Mm. So, so can I just dip my paint in or dip my cock in some paint? And please, then uh, please don't. <laughs> Nobody like wants I'm a to pirate see that. and no walk around. No I'm long around. dong silver bitch. Yeah. Black paint. Know. Black 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 paint. Yeah. Goddamn right. <laughs> there you go. BBC. That's right. Um. I don't Maybe know. Maybe I have one, and that's why I want to do it's, that. It's weird because let's say it's funny because what's becoming acceptable and okay now, it, it's it, you know, the line is moving. I think slowly. it sure is. But and then there was that weird one I saw of like, uh, is it Ariani or Brittany and and Brendan Schaub? Did you see oh, that I one? I didn't see this one on the that's beach it. or something, and it was like he's doing all this weird like slow motion kicking. Was he doing one of his air guard? 
No, he was he was kicking water balloons in slow motion, and she was like, I don't know, just on the beach. It's, really, <laughs> it's a really weird. Okay, we got a good idea. We're gonna have Brendan shot. He's gonna <laughs> kick water balloons in slow motion, yeah. and you're just gonna fucking sit on the beach. That's all it was. You like that? Great. I don't know what that was all about, but it's <laughs> it's very this? strange. These marketing people are whack. I don't know. So good for them. I guess. <laughs> I don't know why. Got me. Yeah, uh, what's with all the super fight talk, Ingo? Um, we've heard this in the past where we had all this fucking John Jones, Anderson Silva, GSP. None of it came to fruition. Nope. And now you have Johnny Hendricks out saying he wants to get the title, defend it twice, and then fight Chris Weidman. Mm-hmm. And you have John Jones who keeps <clears throat> talking. He wants Now he's saying he wants to he'd be open to fighting Chris Weidman and talking about fighting Velasquez. And you also have Aldo now, who it sounds like he's going to move up to 155. He needs to. Vacate the belt and challenge Pettis. Do you think we actually see any of these fights? Aldo Pettis, I think, will happen. The other ones, no. Yeah. I, I almost want to say blasphemy to everything. Because <laughs> every time they say it, nothing fucking happens. Yeah. Nothing. Like, we've heard it for fucking three years. They keep selling us wolf tickets. Wolf tickets. Yeah. Not I, thing. I mean, you know, I don't know. Hendricks has got a first I'd like to see him actually win the belt. Yes. You know, and then see what happens. <laughs> Looking a little too far down the road. He is. Um But I don't know. We'll have to I mean, and who knows if Weidman's still gonna be holding that belt. Yeah. It's not like he's been a fucking on a terror of title defenses. He just did it once. Right. So he hasn't held it for fucking five years. And or... he fought a guy who he, he pretty much has his number. Like, w- w- you know, what, what's going to be the next opponent that, you know, that he, that he faces? Is, is there going to be maybe somebody has his number? So who knows, you know? Unless they're not on the TRT. That's correct. Still to be determined. Yeah. Like Frank Mir. <laughs> yeah, it works out well for a lot of these guys. Well, but, but I think you need the Jesus load of TRT. When you have that, all bets are off. <laughs> okay. Vitor Belfort. The fight in Brazil. You need Vitor Belfort here. You need a cross on your head. Okay. You need Jesus on your waistband. And veins. Yes. Big Cock veins, veins everywhere. Like Stallone. You know, like, <laughs> I'm 68 years old. I'm on my way I'm there. Shredding. I'm waiting until I'm 40. I'm going to start TRT and just get huge. I'm already 40. Come on. I'm just going to get huge. That's my plan. Is that what I should do? So I should start just go just, just get, getting up? I want, I want to come over and I want to see a vein on your forehead just... <laughs> Going all the way down your face, like to your arms. <laughs> like just... my traps are gonna be up by my ears because <laughs> it's so you. I want you to be uh, red no neck. because you're just so fucking so juiced like, up. Uh, Mario's Pujanowski. There you go. And he was fighting Tim Silva and he started fucking purple. <laughs> like fuck it, yeah, I'll be like guy. that. Two four seven. Where's he at? Is he, he fighting still, in like, fighting, I think, uh, in offshoot organizations here and there. But okay. He's neither here nor there. Mm. He's everywhere. So. Move right into the conspiracy of the week, Ego. Brought to you by DefenseSoap.com. Where offense wins matches and defense keeps you on the mat. We forgot to wear the t-shirts next week, maybe. Yes. Uh, use code MMA now. It's 15% off. This stuff works. I'm telling you. It's a great product. Great company. You know, they, they're American-based. American, I think they're American-made. That's right. He supports wrestling a lot. You know, he gives free shit to all these kind of wrestling schools and things like that. So, good cause. Use, use 15% off MMA Nuts. And get yourself some soap on a rope. That's right. Maybe. Yeah. I don't they should make soap on a rope. They should. I will should use it. I think daily. I've said that before. We should we should <laughs> tell you. We need it. It, it, it could be like shaped like the other thing. So. Like a cock. Yeah, See, right. I, I vaguely cock. remember this conversation. It's happened. We've had this conversation. We, yes. <laughs> the conspiracy of the week. So there's a rumor flying around that, you know, we have Chael Sonnen and Vanderlei Silva are both coaches on Whatever season of the Ultimate Fighter, I'm not sure. Brazil. Okay. And the rumor is that the two of them got in some sort of altercation where Vanderlei threw a punch at Chael. Chael ducked under, double legged him, ends up in mount, and then one of Vanderlei's coaches comes in and sucker punches Chael. Did he knock him out? I don't know. Rumors are sketchy at best. And then about two hours after said incident is published out through the internet. They tell you that you can catch this season of The Ultimate Fighter only on Fight Pass. And it costs money, right? Of course. Yeah. So do you think this was a real fight or something staged just to lure people into buying the Fight Pass? I don't know. Because uh, 
you you're the one who brought that to my attention last night. Like it's a uh, potentially I'm very good. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, you know what? I never even thought of that. That's interesting. True. And who's better at selling the B- bullshit than Chael Sonnen? Right. And uh, he po- he posted on his Twitter. Did you see that photo? Yes. Like pet idiot missing or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And it was a picture Man. of Vandalay. <laughs> he had a selfie and his uh, what do they call it? Weird. Pantalones. I should start negros. doing that. Get start doing selfies and posting them on our Facebook page. You gotta Although, do that when you're all TRT'd up, though. It's like not like that a glorious now. Pack. You'll be like, wow, don't ever do that again, <laughs> <Yeah>. man. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please stop. Stop all your heads. Yes. Uh, so that, yeah, I don't know. That's a good, it, that makes a lot of sense to me. You know? Well, uh, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's great, but they still won't accept my credit card. So even though you want to bring me in, I can't get in. Maybe I should try. Maybe you should. Yeah. I haven't thought about it. It's Does it work on thing. Xbox? Huh? Does it work on Xbox? No. I don't, Fuck, fucking... then I don't give a shit about it. I don't want to watch it on my computer. Yeah, I will use my... a computer for porn. What the fuck <laughs> am I going to watch? Make it work on my console. Or... God damn it. True. I'm still pissed the Xbox One doesn't do the UFC yet. You have to do the Xbox 360 and there's buffering. Sounds fun. Yeah, and I'll bring that up right now. Speaking of that, I think that's a missed opportunity for Microsoft. Anytime it says buffering, it should be fucking Bruce buffering. There should be a fucking little Bruce Buffer cartoon <laughs> doing the Buffer 360 there instead of the little octagon. That's I'm awesome. telling you, Bruce Buffering, somebody make that shit happen. Yes. Coin a phrase. Cha-ching. I like it. I love it. Moving and then I want a tip for you if what? this happens. How we solved our problem inadvertently, yeah. and you brought this to my attention, is, is I paused it for like, and rewound for like two minutes. Yeah, we wanted to we, see something. Oh, oh favor. favor. Do you have that picture? Yeah, yeah. We can bring that up now. But, I don't know <laughs> what a douchebag looks like, but uh, Jesus Christ, it. here it is. So you're wearing a fucking <laughs> suit. You got cornrows. You got your fucking headband on. Oh my God. You got your uh, Dr. Dre beats or whatever I think fucking he's wearing headphones. Sneakers too. And sneakers? <laughs> Did he have the sneakers? I think he was. Jesus Christ, son. I know you, you're you you're very well liked by everybody, but fuck. There's Crazy. a problem with this image. a wacky look, but it's, it's a problem. Good. Um. It's it's crazy, but back to my point Go ahead. is, if you do that and then you start playing and don't fast forward, we yeah. didn't have a single buffer after that. Right. So apparently, if you do your self buffers, you stay like two three minutes behind the action, then if you're streaming it, then you never have that problem because it's always up. able to fix itself in time. So, pretty good, pretty nice. True that. What else you got? Nothing. Let's get right into the UFC 169 recap. Brought to you by Onnit. Onnit dot Where you can go to Onnit Slash MMA nuts yep. and save ten percent. Yep, off of your order. Uh, kettlebells, supplements. Uh, you know, fuck. They got a lot of cool stuff. Clothing. They got workout. There. I'm thinking about buying that kettlebell DVD thing they have. The kettlebell insanity. I'm in the middle of like a kettlebell thing I'm doing right now, but I think I want to try this thing they have on their website. Like uh, Steve something. I don't know what the fuck his name is. Joe know. Rogan always talks about him. Not Ranella. He's the hunter. No. He doesn't kettlebell, does he? He's not shooting. He might. I don't know. He <laughs> could. Like um, but go there. Spend your money. They make good stuff. Uh, I, I don't know. I've liked everything they've ever sent. I'm a big fan of the Shroom Tech Sport. Are we having a problem? No. I, I you look worried. Concern. He, the look of concern. I wanted to me. advance, and I, I didn't advance yet. Okay. There we go. It's all good. I like um, little markers for yeah. when I'm gotcha. editing. Okay. Because I don't have any. That's how I used to use them, too. Yeah, when I used to follow here. <laughs> you got to look for this. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a way to, like, have someone do it somehow. Like, if there was a person here that could, like, yeah. push a button. And That'd be nice. Something weird would happen. <laughs> I, I, like, <laughs> I like the would thought of pushing a button and something weird happened. <laughs> I, I don't know. I could think of a lot of weird things. Uh, I want Oompa Loompas on demand, Dingo. I like I that. press a button and have them run out. They don't have to do anything. They just run across the fucking set and run back. Yep. That's semi-racist. Speaking of weird things happening, this was one of the, a record, 10 decisions on this card. Yeah. Only two finishes, and they were both on the main card. One was very controversial. We'll get into that in a minute. You know what? Dana White calls it a catastrophe with a cherry on top. Nice. So you want to hit some scores? Uh, can I do bonuses yeah, real fast? All right, so there was no submission of the night, so fight of the night goes to Jamie Varner and Abel Trujillo. They each get 75K instead of 50 apiece, and then knockout of the night goes to Abel Trujillo for that ridiculous knockout, yeah. which we'll talk about shortly. Scores. Scores. Uh, 7 to 5, Ingo was 6 and 6. 
And Magic 8 Ball was 7 of 5. I told you it was all <laughs> down. <so. laughs> you, you were at 90%. Now you're in the 69%. You're still winning That's now. amazing. So overall, I'm 14 and 9. Ingo is 16 and 7. And Magic 8 Ball is tied with six me at 14 and, six, and 9. Motherfucker. All right. So some things people may not have seen that I want to bring up real quick. That at the weigh-ins, Alan Patrick did a backflip. And oh, yeah. you see uh, Brittany Palmer in the back freaking she out. freaked out. And when you zoom in on her... She kind of looks like she wants to put something in her mouth and put something in her hand. And it looks like she wants to juggle something in the other hand. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's ridiculous. She looks extremely skinny in that picture, too. Mm -hmm. like, I'm telling you. Bony. Double cheeseburgers. Bony. Double cheeseburger. Yep. Why did he do a backflip? That's ridiculous. I what don't you, know. What have you heard him scared the shit out of her. Off of the scale? I didn't see it. I didn't see the way. I didn't so watch it. It must have been off. But uh, so, what did you think about this card? Good, bad, indifferent? Best card. Of the I year? thought I was gonna be epic with the opening fight we saw on the main card, and yeah. then it was just. Well, didn't you jinx it? You said the rest of the card is probably gonna suck now because <laughs> this fight was it so did. good. I think you said that. The fight was amazing. Yeah. Jamie Varner versus oh Trujillo. Oh my! I mean, there was really not much defense going on. They were just going for broke, swinging from the hips, and um, unfortunately, I don't know. It fucking Varner, man. He he had that fight won, and I, I'm not going to fault the guy for going for broke. He just got caught. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm surprised he was able to fucking stick through it yeah. for so long and then come back and throw a bomb and fucking contact, and then Varner goes down, face down, ass up. Holy shit. I mean, it goes to show you that, you know, that happened to Chuck against Rich Franklin. It happens to guys over and over and over again. If You know, if, if you... If you got a guy hurt, I think that's the most dangerous for the guy that's attacking. There's a moment there where you basically get like a fight or flight out of the guy who's losing. And yeah. they don't, I think if you're not careful, you have a real chance of. Who, who's the fight I'm thinking of now? Chicago? Some, no, someone had someone hurt and he ran in. Was it Pete Sell? Oh, yes. And uh, uh, who the fuck was he fighting? Pete Sell versus. Oh, wait, uh, Scott Smith? Yes. And, yes. Yes. And Smith was like doubled over, and Cell comes rushing in, and boom, boom fucking yep. just cracks him on the way in. Epic. Turns it over, and then they're both laying there. Hey, eh, eh, his fucking ribs are all jacked up. Yep. Pull that one out of my ass. Thank you. That was a good one. I could not think of it. But, but it's, uh, it's kinda, you got to be careful. You yeah. really do. You're going bro You're empty in the gas tank, and he also he had him in that. What was it? The north south choke in mm -hmm. the first round, and fucking blew his arms out, and then. Rogan always says that, oh, they're blowing their arms out, and you don't always really believe them. And then between rounds, they ask him, how are your arms, uh, uh, Varner? He's like, yeah, I fucking blew them out. <laughs> <laughs> Can't feel my arm. Yeah. I got nothing, son. He's throwing bombs. Yeah. So, uh, oh, the other thing that I that, that heard during this fight is Joe Rogan may have had the, the quote of the event where he says, uh, those are what, what did you say about my mother punches? <laughs> they were just fucking thrown with bad intent. Okay. I like that. So w what's next for these guys? It's Trujillo says he wants to fight Nate Diaz or Donald Cerrone. Ooh, these are, those are both very interesting. I don't know, man. That's a big step up. It is because he, he wasn't top 10. No. And he was, he's maybe 15. Yeah. And he wasn't winning that fight. No. Just, so it's like... Mm. Took the punishment and then he came back. So, okay. Fuck. I think he has a better ch shot against Diaz. Who's well, yeah, I think that's a, probably a better matchup yeah. for him. But Nate still, you know, we don't know what the fuck. He's going holding out for him. a title. Oh wait, someone's gonna get injured. Oh, fuck, title shot. Yeah. Two and nine. Two and nine and Varner. I don't know. Shit. Pat Healy. Okay. Sure. If he's, is he coming back off of injury too? Right. Pat Healy. Blew out his knee or something. Something. Gotta go marijuana. <laughs> or nice. Move to a state that's legal. He said he was going to do something cool. Did he ever do that? I don't know. I think he forgot. It's all good. I'm just trying to help a brother out. I don't know. What else? John Lineker. <laughs> yeah. Fucking misses was... weight the first time, but caught it the second time. Um, so he's, technically, he's missed it three times. Might want to consider moving up a weight class. I'm just saying. Yeah. He's getting handled, basically. He got, oh, and he gets a fucking manicure before he gets into the octagon because his nails were a little too long. So not only can you miss weight, but you can't even have fucking personal hygiene. 
Yeah, fucked up. How long did they have to be? I mean, I don't know. I keep mine really short, but that's simply because I don't want to get my fingernail ripped off during yeah. grappling. So, but I've always kept them like that. I don't know. Like, who keeps their nails really long? Do people do that? Uh, I, I keep a Coke nail <laughs> for when I'm shooting the Coke. I do doubles. <laughs> yeah. Fucking two at a time. I do it right off a of hooker ass. <laughs> what? There you go. I don't do that. With dollar bills or hundred dollar bills? Shit, you know how I roll. Thousand so. dollar bills. Thousand. They still make five hundred dollar bills. They should. It's so they ridiculous. If you ever have like six thousand dollars in like hundred dollar bills, it's a lot of fucking. It's a lot of wattage. And you have a wallet. It doesn't fit in your wallet. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Why would I have a six thousand dollars in one hundred dollar bills? No reason. No reason. Was that six thousand dollars? So it's ten times six. Sixty, 60. bills. <laughs> My brain. Your, your math Something's is so wrong. fucked up. Today. I think I worked out too hard this weekend. You might have. I, we I were talking before the show started. And I, I think we were talking about the beers and you're trying to do math. I'm like, <laughs> what do you dude, think? there's four beers. <laughs> like, it doesn't Three add up. Tried. Something's wrong with me. I all worked right. out too hard. It's all good. It's today. I really worked out, and then I went sledding and shoveled snow and all kinds of stuff. I think my body's like probably not working. I'm, I'm, re retarded. I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh my ah! god! Ban the show! <laughs> Fuck it! You're gonna lose all your sponsors. Sorry. Um, can we move on? Yeah. All right. So Over in Mir. Man, I have to tell you, it's rough for me watching Frank Mir get beat up time after time after time. I think he got outstruck like 160 something to five. <laughs> five. <laughs> something. Yet like reamed five times. That's it. <sighs> And he's laying in half guard for half the fucking rounds and oh, playing around. And Reem's not finishing. He's just kind of hanging around. I, I, I don't know. I was not impressed with either guy, obviously. No. Mir, for me, I, I don't know like if he's just older and now he can't work out as hard. And he's just not like... He was on the TRT. Yeah, but I think he might be a... I think he's a guy who's doing it, right? Perhaps. Yeah. Probably so, not abusing it. But maybe he needs. Maybe he needs, maybe he he needs may, to. He may have been when he was fighting Lesnar, but not now. <laughs> maybe he needs. Yeah, he was fucking huge back then. He was so Crazy. beefed. But maybe he needs to combine the TRT with Jesus. Maybe that's the missing ingredient. Could be. Let's send him a Bible. Okay. Those damn Gideons. King James Bible. I don't know. It's the only one I know. Is there? Are there other ones? <laughs> I don't know. Let's send them all. Let's Old send them a Quran. And <laughs> everything. Fucking anything. Here's the big to... box. Pick it. Just follow something. Yeah. Oh, Get in the game, son. Um. But yeah, I. I don't know. I was not happy about this fight. No, and he, fucking over him. He said he played it safe because he didn't want to blow it out, but it looked like there were opportunities where he could have fucking finished Frank. And he backed up. But, yeah. I mean, I get it because how many times has he, well, I think the last two fights that he lost, he blew it out at some point. Yeah. And then he couldn't come back. But is he at a point where he needs to change his, change his name to under him? Could be. Be. I found it interesting too that he wasn't that scared to play in Frank's guard. If you remember when, yeah, when he fought like Verdum, like he didn't want any part of that. He's no, like, and that, that's where we had one of the most awkward and boring ass fights because one guy wants to stand, one guy wants to fight yeah. off his back, and it didn't happen for either. Yep. Didn't even but uh, do that fucker. What's that? Over in Verdum. I like to see that one yeah. again. But well, here's the weird thing too. So they have. Rogan interview over him inside the ring, mm -hmm. and he calls out fucking Brock Lesnar. So, one, why the fuck are you calling out a retired person? Two, why are you calling out someone you've already beaten? Makes no sense to me. I get it from a payday standpoint, but uh, big money. Don't you want to challenge yourself? Don't you want to hold the belt? Why aren't you calling out Velasquez or Junior Dos Santos, someone that's higher up on the board? Not some guy who's been out for fucking how long and is not coming back. Apparently. Is I don't know. I never believe what Dana back. says, though. He's weird. Whenever he says one thing, really, like, he's, he's like, oh, I'm not doing this. That means they're probably doing it. Maybe. <laughs> I think it chaps my ass. So. It does. It really chaps my ass. Who else chaps my ass? What's that? Blame about their ties. Ooh. <laughs> uh... I've been waiting to use that for like <laughs> a long say, Scott, time. Scott, one ply toilet paper? Does that chap your ass? That too. Uh, sandpaper? Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's not sandpaper. That's like no paper. It you is. Just get like, but that's ah, why it, 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 it hurts. But then yeah. that's why you use a plush or like wet whatever wipe afterwards. It's a luxurious. Okay. 
I'm going to get a bidet. He's a clean asshole. My coworker bought heated toilet seats. Good for him. He's got or like her. three of them. It was a him. Um, apparently, this is popular overseas. And he spent like 300 bucks on this fucking... Each he one? had it shipped to work. <laughs> he had it shipped to work. I was like, what is this shit? So uh, seriously, at his desk, it's like a fucking toilet. <laughs> Why would you ship that shit seriously, to work? Son, are you kidding me? And he had three of them. <laughs> he's like, you're only $275 or something. Each? Yes. Whoa. I'm like, that what? Guy's balling, are you man. fucking crazy? He goes, no, it's very comfortable. I'm like, how much fucking time are you spending seriously? on the toilet? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. That's crazy. But... How do we get on the subject? I don't know. Because you, <laughs> you said, oh, you said Scott. Scott oh, like, you chapped your ass. Yeah, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar. That's so, it's straight. Direct we're, quote from we're the, back. the fucking Lesnar book. Uh, Lesnar's not coming back. Who should Overeem fight next? Do you have anybody? Two choices. Um, Junior Del Santos or Mark Hunt. Ooh, I like Hunt. Give it to him. I like and him. then next from here, do you, do you think he gets cut now? Because he, this he is should. four losses in a row. He should get cut. Unfortunately. I think he should take Kenny Florian's job, and I won't say it again. I think he should take Kenny Florian's job. Do you think he should take Kenny Florian's job? Yes. He could. Is um, there sugar and syrup? Depends what kind. Then of yes. <laughs> That's from Elf. So. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I haven't seen that movie in a while. Like, it's a good one. But we you watch know, it every I, he said he doesn't want to retire. He could technically go over to an organization like Bellator and probably run the show. Probably. If that's what he wants to do. But I'd rather see him use his brain. He's an intelligent guy. Don't fucking, you know, what is he, 35? Yeah. 34? Someone <laughs> said he's keeps eating all the strawberries again. Like, remember yeah, that? Yeah, all over his face. Yeah. <laughs> Got beat up bad. Uh, he takes a, he's been taking a lot of damage in his last five, six fights. And, and a couple of those over him knees, too. Brutal. Yes. You don't want any part of those. Yeah, just, just, dude, just stop. You um, should stop. Sometimes you got to just. So I'd say cut him. And commentate him. Yeah. Give him the Chuckle Dell treatment. Yes. Aldo versus Lamas. Oh, brutal. Leg kicks. There was a definite speed and ferocity difference in what Aldo was bringing compared to what Lamas was bringing for four rounds. Mm -hmm. And Aldo, again, it's the fifth round, and that's where you could take advantage of him. Yeah. But it's too little too late at that point. So it, it almost... It seems like the strategy to beat Aldo maybe just to fucking wear and tear on him and go for takedowns. Right. I don't know. Go for takedowns, like Couture style, push him up against the cage. I know it's going to be a boring-ass fight, but what are you going to do? you got to wear him out for the first three and then hope you can finish him in four and five because I don't... Unless the Pettis fight might be a little different, but no one has really... Put it to him. I really early. want to see that. That's ridiculous striking versus ridiculous striking. Right, but those fucking leg kicks are so incredible. It's just so much speed. It's whoosh, and he brings it back before you can even catch it. So yeah. it's whap bam. And how many of those landed? Too many. Yeah, <laughs> Too fuck. many. I'm willing to bet. I don't know. Lamas probably wouldn't do it, but I'd love to see what that leg looked like today. It's uh, got to be purple. From I mean, the side, the back. He's I remember Faber, everywhere. right? The zombie <laughs> leg. Jesus yep. Christ, because. He had, I Real. think, the worst out of anybody. He posted the picture next yeah, day. Gross. Fucking shit. And he almost beat him via leg kick. I mm -hmm. think the fifth round of that fight, the only reason Aldo didn't finish him was out of respect because he stopped throwing the leg kicks. Yeah, because he was just like, you know, even, he I couldn't think even, he, was... he could barely get off the fucking uh, seat. Yeah. To come fight. They're even really Rogan was like, out. man, they got to do something. This is, I remember the commentating was like, they were worried about mm -hmm. Faber. Um, so I, I think for Lamas, it was just he just couldn't get it going. It, there was just such a difference between the two for the first four. And Lamas didn't look like he was stringing the strikes together. It was like single strike for a while, and he kept trying to throw his leg kick. And Aldo was checking it like it was going out south. Foop, foop, foop. Just, very fast. He's just a step ahead the whole night. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Lamas, tough guy. I mean, yes. what are you going to do? It's... You run into somebody that's way better than you, it just it, it happens. And he's in a weird spot, too, where he kind of gets fucked because he may be the last guy to fight Aldo at 45, and now if Aldo moves up to 55, you're going to have an open belt where the next two challengers would fight for it. So now that he took a loss, he's not the next challenger, and more than likely it'll be Chad Mendes and Cub Swanson. Fighting for a vacant belt yeah. if he moves up. Swanson should probably take that. 
Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It was like a rematch from how long ago was that one? I'm trying to think. Five years? Four years? This is a while. If I can find it. I'm yeah. all over in my fucking yeah, notes. I, I got time. pictures, titty balls, uh, something. He's got titty balls. I can't find it. But let's see what happens because Pettis, Pettis is still on the shelf. So I think there's a big question mark if, if they want to wait for Pettis and move up or do they want to, you know. Yeah, I don't know. And then I don't know what the fuck to do with Lamas. Uh, move up to 155? <laughs> no, maybe. Know. Or maybe Jeremy Stevens? I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's that could right. Be a he good dropped fight. down to the 45s, right? Yeah. I about that. It could be a good, be good fight. I like that one. Sure, why not? <laughs> do it up. All right, we're going to hit the main event. I have not scrolled through each of these slides. I it's just okay. left it on the same one. Yeah, Hennon Barra versus Uriah Faber. In what might be perhaps one of the worst stoppages of Herb Dean's career, oh, I was not happy. I know that Faber was getting the shit kicked out of him for a minute there, but he seemed fine to me when he was on the ground. He's covering up like this, and Faber made the point, too, of what is intelligent defense? Herb Dean tells me to intelligently defend. Okay, I'm covering up. I'm giving a thumbs up with my other hand. The guy's punching me in the forearm and the hand. What else is he supposed to do there? I mean, maybe the get fuck? up. Like they wanted to see him try to get up. I guess. I don't know. He was totally with it. I think that was a terrible stoppage. I'm with you. I agree. But Faber gracious in defeat and didn't want to throw Dean under the bus. He was annoyed. He made his point, but he gave a lot of respect to him. Um, you know, I I feel like it's hard for to be. Your, I mean, for a referee, it's one of the hardest jobs. You know. Yeah, because he he. When we talk about him. He's on that. Uh, a tightrope of fighter safety and mm -hmm. keeping the fight interesting. Like, when do you stop it? Is it Pat Berry, Czech Congo? You let it go, let it go. When do you stop it? In yeah. this case, it just looked more of Burrell, like, looking at him, going, are you going to stop this? And then look back down. Are you going to stop this? And then finally Herb was like, yeah, I guess I'll stop this. Yeah, I wonder, I, I always wonder, like, what kind of effect that has about the attacking fighter trying to goat the ref into stopping the fight mm -hmm. if that has an effect on the referee. Looked like it did this time. Yeah, because maybe he's thinking, that I'm beating the shit out of this guy, but that's a tactic in itself where you yeah. can say, like, hey, look at this, look at this, I'm killing him, I'm killing him, and then he's really fine. I mean, um, who, who did that happen to? I saw there was a submission that, uh, fucking, um, that was like that. Where like you, the guy's out, he's out. Kind of scenario. Yeah, it was like, uh, oh, he's not. Not Matt Wyman. He was, uh, he was on the Rogan podcast, the vegan guy. Matt, Mac Danzig. Mac Danzig, where he got, where he was, they, they thought he was out, but he wasn't out. He was giving the thumbs up, and they, I think that was Eve Levine, if I recall, stopped that one, and he was like, dude, I'm, what are yeah, you yeah. doing? Like, like, uh, uh, fuck. Yeah, oops, it's too late at that point, but what are you going to do? Fighting? Can you pull that? Was it Joe Stevenson? I have no idea. I couldn't even tell you. No, it was Matt Wyman versus Danzig. Yes, I okay. believe. I think that's. I think that's. I will go with you. I think that's correct, if I recall correctly. But I, they, I, I could be wrong. But I'm gonna find. <laughs> I've been out. wrong on keep, a lot of things. Keep vamping here. Yeah, but my take on this was is um, that Faber had a poor game plan, perhaps in this thing. I, 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 it looked like he was coming out pretty aggressive. It just uh, yeah. Didn't work out, huh? Barrow is extremely fast, and he he just looks good. He looks real good at this weight class. So, um, well, he said he's not moving up either Burrow? because the question was, oh, well, yeah. if your buddy moves up to fifty-five, are you going to move up to forty-five? He said no. Oh. He said no. I want to stay at thirty-five. I still got more more shit to do. Sure, why not? You just got the belt. Why why vacate it? Are you looking yeah, it up right he's now? legit. Yeah, I'm trying to, but this uh, fucking MMA site you're on mini notebook. Oh my god, you have a lot of losses. It would be a technical submission, a guillotine choke. Yeah, looks like Matt Wyman, winner, winner, UFC 115. Yes, my memory serves dinner. me. Dinner, nice. saw it in a theater. Did we? Five people there. Yeah, <laughs> that was the Liddell oh, okay. Franklin one. Oh Jesus, I, I don't find it. We wanted to steal that Liddell. That Franklin never happened. Thing. Never happened. What? He retired him. I know. Rich Franklin. They retired we should, each we other. We should put 
fucking Liddell passed the fuck out right at the feet of Rich Franklin. Yeah, yeah, that was brutal. <sighs> it was two of our favorite fighters at the time. Yeah, and plus, if you have the time, check out the Rogan podcast because John Hackleman was just on there and some interesting discussion about Chuck and mm-hmm. just yeah, I found it funny one. how he was like. He's like, yeah, man, we used to train this shit. I would put weights on him hours and hours and hours and try to train him to keep his hands up. And he's like, sure enough, as soon as he got... As soon as he hit it, that's it. fucking hands go down, like, chin goes up. Yep, just cannot make him, you know... If he had, like, weights on his chin, everything, too, like, to bring his everything, head down. Everything, everything. Just didn't shit. do it. I mean, unfortunately, what are you going to do? Yeah. He went out on a shield. You got to love it. Not too many guys like that anymore, but... Okay, we got off on this tangent. Um, controversial finish. Yeah, I, I don't know what would have happened had they let it go longer. It wasn't looking good for Faber. No, he he was seriously rocked like yeah. three times. Yeah, and then it was just a bad stoppage. And next for Faber, he said he's staying at 135 pounds, but he said he's open to 45? interesting fights at 45. But he's not going to stay there. Like he'll go up for. You know, a fight or two of something. It's kind of small, I think, for 45. That'd be a rough. Yeah, he said it, he was just getting manhandled yeah. when he was up there. So that's why he went down to 35. But maybe he needs some time off. But he's had five fights in 10 or 11 months now. Wow. That's a lot. And Cerrone says he wants six fights in a year. He so needs money. Fuck. It's a lot. So he needs some time off. But I'm just wondering if when he comes back, will Dominic Cruz be healed? Because there could be a good, they're they're supposed to fight, and that never came to fruition. That yeah. was the both coaches on the Ultimate Fighter, and then Cruz gets injured, and then he's gone for fucking three years. So mm-hmm. there's still some bad blood. We need to get that one settled. So yes, maybe they can have that happen. Speaking of Cruz, we forgot to mention the Juliana Pena injury. Did you read about that? Mm-hmm. Blew out like everything. It was like ACL. MCL, PCL, LCL, meniscus, meniscus, hamstring, bicep. It's all gone. And differing stories of what actually happened. Yeah. Dana White says she was attacked, and then people in her camp are saying, no, they were just grappling hard. It was like a 135-er. He's really strong. but I don't know. It sucks. Freak injury. What are you mm-hmm. going to do? And she's going to be gone for, they said, what, like two years? Supposedly. Maybe she needs to get on the uh, HGH. GRT. GSP diet. Jesus, GRT. Mm-hmm. Get the win. Moving right along, Ingo. Yes. That was bring us to Ask the Nuts. Being brought to you by Craft Beer Club, Oh, Ingo. yeah. As I'm drinking Display. my beer. Display. All right, so Some check shit. this out. Craft, go to craftbeerclub.com slash MMA Nuts. Yes. And you can sign up for the Beer Club of the Month. Um, what's cool is, is they send you... 12 beers every month. Beers. You get like a, f- a four pack times uh, three. Beers. The beers. And they have a little insert nothing. that they give you of like about the beers that they send. There's some recipes on the back. Pretty fucking cool. You get like. Um, you get a ton of nuts. With our code, if you sign up, you get like a bunch of nuts. You get four of these cool like taster glasses. And then of course you get your beer every month from different breweries and whatnot. It's, it's super cool. Um, craftbeardclub.com slash MMA nuts. Click it, try it. I don't know. Do, 30, gift it. It's thirty-seven seventy-five. Free shipping in the continental U.S. Yes. I can't enjoy the beverages, but... 12 craft beers for, for 37 bucks, including shipping. That's a fucking steal. Because I go to the store and I buy like some of these microbrew things. Like a four-pack could be 10 or 12 bucks. And hell, you can get 12... Delivered to your house. Yeah, you so you're not going to leave anywhere. the house. Beers come. These make great cool gifts. Set. So, like, if you got a buddy who's turning, like, you know, 21, 22, uh-huh. 40, just go there, sign them up, give them a month subscription, and boom. You know, give them three months. I don't know. Whatever you, whatever you can afford. I don't know if you're fucking, if he's 21, you probably afford one month. But well, if you're and 30. Mother's Day is right around the corner. The point. So. Yeah, Mother's right. Day. Some mothers like to drink beer. True that. Love beers. Mm-hmm. Um, but go there, check it out. It's our latest partner that's right and i'm loving it because they send me beer yes thank you craft beer club your beer is always good mm-hmm. all right so now we're at ask nuts so whoever has the best question is going to win and then we're nuts t-shirt Ooh. oh cool it's on yeah. the line so okay be forewarned as and we these do. are not cheap pieces of shit like we went out and we found we found a high a quality manufacturer <laughs> yes 
Matt went bananas on the spreadsheets, and he was, we tried different stuff. And these are not cheap shirts. Like different if shirts. if they didn't have our logos on them, you'd you'd be you'd want to buy the shirt just to wear it around because it's that comfortable. So they're nice. That's right. Questions. All right, Kurt Hill. Why does Robbie Lawler instantly jump up for a vacant shot at the title? Jumping past Mike Brown. Yeah, I think he met Matt Brown, Carlos Condit, and <laughs> Wisley. Woosley, but uh, Woodley, Woodley. I'm on you. Okay. Don't worry. You've been drinking, but it's all good. Don't worry. Um, because he's Robbie Lawler. Don Chris Sheen. I don't want Mira to retire, but is there a point of him sticking around if he's just gonna try and be aggressive? No. You should hang it up. I, I just I don't want to see him take any more damage. It's true. Yeah. He's he's taken enough damage, and I don't want to see him. Who's the guy? Gilbert Evil or yeah. Was it the guy that got fucked up? He's got dementia now. Someone had. Yeah, Gary, I think it was him. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Somebody. Sounds right. Okay. Bob Sapp? Or maybe he's just. I'm getting creases. old. I got creases in my forehead now I never had before. Son of a bitch. And I'll work out. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like rubbing my I'm like, wait a minute. What is on yeah, my head? This makes me feel good sometimes when I just go like that. Okay. Like, oh, I was rubbing my bad. heads. Looking at pictures of myself recently and comparing them like five years ago, I'm like, motherfucker, I got old. <laughs> like what happened? Yeah, the that hell? happens. I'm not young anymore. Damn it! You just keep getting older. I'm gonna get try to get skinnier as I get older and more bulky. TRT. Well, we get it's huge. just a matter of time. We're gonna do it. TRT. This is when? Then it means I can't drink. Oh, you can drink. Okay. You gotta, you gotta get be a liver, Your liver. liver replacement. Yeah. You gotta keep it in the level. You'll be all right. Etna White G, what do you guys think about Anderson Silva suing a fan for defamation for saying he's a shitty idol? Seems really stupid to me. Retarded comes to mind. Blasphemous <laughs> is what Gay. I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> Retarded. Fuck <laughs> 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 it. Hey. I think that guy's got a chink in his armor. <laughs> Justin Doctor <laughs> Bond Carter. Yes, sir. Still. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, this is going to be tough. Who are four fighters who you think would be destroyers on TRT? He says Hunt, Shogun, BJ, and Anderson on the juice. Anderson Silva? Yeah. yeah. I'll agree with Mark Hunt. He He's open to it, and he's at that 38, 39. I think he just needs to be on it in general. When mm -hmm. you're, I think, past 36, I think you should just get an open exemption to be on TRT. Cause fuck. So fuck. Interesting. Yeah. That's tough. Who else? Who else would you like to see on TRT? Uh, I don't know. Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Come on now. He's been on TRT since day one. <laughs> Come on. Uh, That's hey, blasphemy. Hey now. Uh, TRT? Who would be, uh, who's old that would be like in the category of TRT? I'd like to see Johnny Hendricks all juiced up since he says he's. <laughs> Juice to the gills? Yeah. Robbie Lawler. About Get DS. them both juiced up before their fight. Get them. There Turbo Hulks. Diaz. Uh, Hector Lombard. Oh, Jesus. Let's he just already pick got the busted, biggest guys. He? he already got busted. Nate Marquardt. What? <laughs> hey, whatever happened to him? Didn't he come back? I, I don't know. He's just he's MIA. Well. He's like Keith Jardine. <sighs> don't steal his mail. He'll fuck you up. That's right. He'll make you submit without even touching you. Mm -hmm. Scary. Yeah. You're right along. Justin, Dr. Brown Carter. Question number two. What exactly is about all those leg kicks that make them so deadly? That's the first part. Because they're fast. You Speed, motherfucker. <laughs> Speed and technique. By the time Holy you realize he, he's kicked you, he's kicking you again. That's kind of scary. Right. Why did Lama's Vitor Hawk not grant him the victory? No, I tell you why. Go ahead. No cross. Oh, yeah. You need the cross. It's ineffective without the cross. Plus the TRT. And Jesus <laughs> on your waistband. TRT. Yes. And Aldo versus Barrow. How does it go down and who wins? I don't know. Probably Aldo. It'll never happen. They're too close. Yeah, they're buddies. I they're 26 they're buddies. and 27. That's a scary thing. These guys are still, they're yeah. still prime. Yep. Ugh, scary shit. Uh, Adam Jackson, what's with the Aldo critics? Thought it was a good fight, better than at least half a GSP's snooze fest. Why, people were criticizing his performance? I don't know. Why? I don't know. He looked like he was trying to get things done. I don't know. I didn't have a problem with it. No, it looked it good. Okay. He was hitting him from all angles, just going bananas. He's hitting him from the behind. Oh, yes. 
If you're going to hit it, you hit it from behind. And you hit it hard and often. Damn right. No lube. Mark Guardado. Thoughts on Brock Lesnar? He's a big man. He's got a cock on his chest. Yes, the Lesnar. Chapped uh, his ass. I don't know. Will he ever come back to the UFC? I don't think so. Why the sudden talk about his return when Dana says he's not coming back anytime soon? I think they're trying to sell uh, pay-per-view wrestling tickets. Yeah. Wolf tickets. True that. Diego Apazar. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Was Seymour Hoffman dead by boredom watching UFC 169? That's a low blow. One of my favorite actors ever. Uh, don't know what happened. I just read the stories. He's had drug problems all his whole life. That was a needleless arm. The thing that's sad though is like here, here's a guy who's really successful and he left. He has three kids and you go out like I mean it's like he's forty six. Ain't that far from where I am. He just decided to say fuck it. I don't know, you know whatever. Gave into his addiction and called it a day. I'd like to give into my dick. Well, <laughs> shun whatever that means. <laughs> I'm Shun. not sure. Yeah. Moving right along. Dustin Rounds, do you think Faber will ever obtain a UFC belt? No. Always, never, uh, always a bridesmaid, never a bride, as they say. Yes. Yeah, so what are your favorite foods, types, or locations? Mm. You go first. Because uh, your list is so long. Uh, pizza. Pizza. I'm trying to think of the fucking one restaurant that I like. I can't. Luciano's. It's. Somewhere over there, the fucking gluten-free Italian restaurant if yeah. in the Illinois area. Delicious. Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm a big fan of sushi, but I have to say that in general, if there's nothing like barbecue, I fucking love barbecue. I can eat the shit out of barbecue. Ribs, brisket, pork, whatever. I will toss that barbecue <laughs> salad. Dude, I God love barbecue. It. It's the best, especially if you've been if you're drinking beer with it and whatever. I mean, it's comforting. It's just it makes you feel all nice and. Warm and fuzzy. I like meat. I like my meat. He likes meat in I his like mouth. Like pork. pork, 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 little pork, pork, pork. As long as it's delivered are we gonna, anally. Are we gonna pork a pig? Or <laughs> wait, no. What do we do? You cook a pig. <laughs> you cook a pig uh, underground. How do you do that? You, you smoke a pig. Him. We cook it all day. No, why is that? Style? Called? Yeah, you bury it. Yeah, let's do that. This I year. don't think we can. If you want to, I know a place that could probably do it. Yeah, this, my this, backyard. Well, I don't think we could do it. I think we'd have to help have someone help us. Yeah, Keith. I don't know Didn't if he knows how to do it. I don't know. But a, you don't realize how big a pig is. A pig could feed like 200 people. Well, like, what if you get like a fetal pig? A I fetal dissected pig. one of those in a high school. Pig. No, that's a style. <laughs> is that like fetal veal? Pig. It'd take like 10 minutes to cook. <laughs> that's gross. We should have. We should go crazy like that and do something bananas. Let's but, do it. See if I can eat bananas this year. Fuck it. Have a big barbecue. Yeah, type thing. we'll start pickling. We keep talking about that. We never do oh, it. There's so we make our own beer. I, but a pig roast would be cool. A pig roast. Yeah. Dude, fucking hell. I love pig roast. Yeah. Like on a spit? I'll sit there. I'll turn it. Hours. Well, what are you doing? We can just turn hire it. somebody. The place that's doing the barbecue. Yeah. The dude's like big time, like old school. He's got all, he's, he can do all that. Like, we should have like a big party. Like, Done. Once we, if, if we, if we hit our, our yearly goal by halfway through the year, it'll be midsummer. Yeah. We should just blow invite, it out. just blow it out. Have big, everybody just like. Big, Big UFC have a big party, party outside, yeah. all like a fucking... Just go bananas. Get the wives and, and the husbands and everybody over, just have a good-ass fucking time, and just Done. take care of it all. So click on our ads, please, <laughs> so we can Buy make that happen. Buy from all the people at yes. Fest and oh, yes. make our dreams come true. Yes. Regularly the Fountain, was last night's card from top to bottom the worst UFC card you have ever seen? No, because I didn't see the whole card. I only saw the main, <laughs> main card, <laughs> main and that was okay. Was pretty bad. Well, well, the first fight was good. Yeah. I was right. But the second fight killed the card, and then the Overeem fight killed the card, and then the Aldo fight, that oh, was okay, and then the controversial stoppage in the main event. So, worst card ever? No. Mm -mm. But it, it's up there. It wasn't great. From when you take in the totality of 10 decisions, <sighs> right. that's pretty bad. Frank Fleming, Dana White said, Overeem had a crappy performance. I thought he put on a great performance and paced himself. Do you agree with Dana? If not, why do you think Dana always seems so down on Overeem? Because he's a finisher. He's known to. He's supposed to be knocking fools out. He's expensive. So he wants people. He wants them to be exciting. Yeah. 
Don't let you pay like a quarter million a, a fight or something like Some that. Some shit like that. He's at least two hundred thousand. Yeah. And you, if you're gonna pay a guy like that, you want him to fucking go out on a shield, win or lose, and he didn't do it. No. You played it safe. And I think against Frank Mir, that should be the guy that you can blow it out against because you've yeah. seen it works. If you pressure him early, you can finish him early. Didn't work for the big nog, but that was just a weird scramble on the ground mm -hmm. and. And gets his shoulder ripped off, but a lot of other people had success with that. Yep. Ryan Smith, Megan O'Leary, hot or not? And then he says, oh, by the way, go Broncos, LOL. Hey, at least Matt's Bears have been to the Super Bowl in the last 10 years, LOL. Uh, oh, Is that a low blow at me and my Lions, motherfucker? I, I, trying to say? I think someone is not getting a t-shirt. Yeah, fuck you, Ryan. Um, um, here's what this woman looks like. I would just say, uh, she's a little too skinny. Needs to put some she's meat on short, the too. But not bad. I like her interviews. She's a little bit, like, she seems a little, uh, out of it sometimes, but. I thought you were going to say retarded. Better uh, than Karen that, Bryant. That, that would have been a bad use of the word, Ego. <laughs> right. I'd have to no, say Karen, like, on. way better than Karen Bryant, in my opinion. Interviewing fighters. Seems yeah. at least interested. Karen just, like, wants to be crazy. So. You have a thing for these. Skinny, yeah, little short. Girls. All right, Ryan must be a little guy. Or no, something. he says he's like six two or Did something. He? So you, you like your women to be like a foot shorter? Yeah. Okay. Because they line up well when you reverse it. <laughs> okay. It's all good, man. Whatever, whatever you're into is fine. If we hang out at the bar, we will not be competing for females. So that's good. <laughs> fine. I like beer bottles. Man, you some bone pool. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Would you rather have Jose Aldo kick your leg for thirty seconds? Or take five ovarium knees to the gut. I'll take the ovarium knees because I'll probably oh, buckle after the first one. Control. I'll really? buckle after the first one. I'll be done. No, we're going to prop you up. you got to <laughs> no, take five. No. The, the rule is five oh. ovarium what knees. What if I'm unconscious? I said I'll prop you up. <laughs> oh, I will geez. hold you up so you can take the <laughs> yeah, extra I'll take four. the leg kicks. I don't want either one. That I'll take leg kicks all day because at least you can brace yourself. It's not like you're, you're sh shucking and jiving. You know you're, they're coming. You can at least lean into it a little bit to brace it. I'm not saying that's going to help you 100%, but maybe 10%. You'll take 10% off of that but kick. 30 seconds, he can kick you a lot of times. He'll probably kick you 52 times in <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> but five over ream knees, I think, would just be too devastating. I, I just think about all your internal organs <laughs> breaking. and all the damage. Like bro You're going to get a broken rib for sure. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm taking leg kicks all day. Okay. You're right. This is a stupid uh, idea on my part. I thought, I thought if I could take one and buckle, I'd be fine. Yeah. And then uh, last question, Ruben Allen Andrade. He says, since I live in Arizona, I'm no expert on cold weather. Would it be a good excuse to fart under blankets and just let my girlfriend know that I only do it to keep her warm? Sure, man. Hot box for the win. Right. All right, now it's decision time. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like I need some epic music. So we had the, the hot box question, the leg kick. Uh, knee to the gut one. That's my front runner. Uh, Megan Olivia hot. Uh, Dana White over him. Had a crappy performance. Uh, worst UFC card ever. Faber get the belt. Seymour Hoffman dead of boredom. Are you sure you don't like that one? No. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to get uh, Thoughts on Brock Lesnar. Aldo critics. Uh, more fighters. I already juice. picked my winner. I like the I like the hypothetical. I me too. <laughs> uh, I think we gotta go with that. So Let's Matthew Sombonpool, you are the winner of one said MMA Nuts T shirt. So I need to know medium, large, or extra large, and you can either direct message us on Facebook and give us that and your address or send us an email at fans at MMA Nuts dot com. That's right. And a T shirt will be sent out to you. Or a big shortly. black big bag of black dicks. Oh. Yes, good. Good point. You never know. Go. I forgot. Someone's going to get one of those. Speaking of flying cocks. Yes. <laughs> I saw, I just was telling you, I saw some political man doing some sort of a press conference, and someone had put <laughs> a fucking, they, see, they missed the opportunity. It was a white cock. If you're going to have a flying cock, a it helicopter style, it needs to be black. But anyway, so the guy's holding like some press conference and he's like some political leader. There's a fucking shit ton of people. This helicopter, it was just this big white cock was flying in. Was it, was it hanging or sticking? No, it was sticking <laughs> I gotta, I gotta find it. 
Okay. I don't know if I can post that, but is that illegal? I don't know. Legal? Oh, God, yeah, I it's gotta legal. Find that. It's no legal. Uh, yeah. It's normal. Ah, it's <laughs> normal. It, it's gotta be black though. Can I Photoshop that black? <laughs> I don't know. It's gotta be black. It's gotta have a black. Oh. Sorry. It's just the way we roll. Any knowledge? Knowledge? Let's see. I saw. Did you see the Jack Reacher movie? It's free on Amazon Prime. No, I, I, I always wanted to watch it, and I started a couple times, and I was like, I don't know. Is it good? It's it's a 3.5 stars out of 5 in my book. Okay, because I'm a it's Tom Cruise fan, watch. and I heard that the Jack Reacher series is really good, the books. But I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I, should I watch it? You should watch it. Okay. I'll think about it. Not medicated. No. Action? Detective type stuff? Mm -hmm. Some mystery, suspense, thriller? All of the above. Okay. I heard it was good, but I don't know. It's solid. Tom Cruise being Tom Cruise? Basically. Always. <laughs> the same role. <laughs> Always the same guy. Fucking, he's in oblivion. He's in Mission Impossible. I did like that movie. That was a little weird. He's in right? Risky Business. Yeah. The same guy. Okay. He's a good fuck. Movies are hard for me because it's like a big time. It's a commitment. Yeah. It was, that one was over too. Yeah. So I had to, I think I had to start at 9 o'clock. That's the other thing, yeah. Start that fucker at 10:30, and you're up till two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is, is I'm that, never gonna that, make it. If I get past midnight, then I'm gonna have to eat, and usually it's better to like, you know, not yeah. late. Almost true that. Must. And that's that. That okay. is that. That Shut and then this week's edition of the MMA Nuts Show. My name is Ingo. I'm Mike Rivers. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing.